There's a very common trend in Valorant through all ranks leading up to high diamond. At the start of the round, as soon as the start barriers go down, everybody just runs into the dopamine zone, spam utility, cross their fingers, and get killed within the first 20 seconds. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the lack of strat calling and understanding the pace of the game is a huge issue, but one that can be addressed with a few simple strats. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 strats you can use on any map with a high success rate. So starting up with number one, default. The basic goal behind defaulting is spreading out as a team and covering as much map room as possible. You can hold passive angles or you can slowly work up and get information. One thing to keep in mind is your controller and initiator should try to buddy up with somebody because the utility that you have available will be very crucial in the late round in securing the win. It doesn't make sense for Brim and Sova to peek either be long or showers and die early on in the round. However, agents like Chamber, Jet or Reyna, they can peek certain angles, take a gunfight and then dismiss or TP back to safety. Consider defaulting anytime you want to get information on where certain agents are playing or if you want to see how the enemy team is adapting to your playstyle. Number two, five man pushes. Now there are a lot of times where you should be pushing as a five man team. For example, when the enemy team is broke and can't afford a full buy round, on your pistol rounds, as well as on your bonus. But also when you find a weakness on the enemy team's defense. If a certain player is struggling to hold their sight, you wanna be pushing at five man every time. Now this doesn't mean that as soon as the start barriers go down, you hold W and push the sight. Wait to see what the enemy team is doing and try to avoid any utility that's gonna give away your position. And once you're ready to push, remember roll call. Controllers should be dropping smokes on sight, initiators getting information, duelists creating room and sentinels covering flank and supporting the duelists on site and trading kills. Number three, the three two split push. Now, typically in Valorant map design, there are usually two ways you can push a site. The goal with the three two push is you wanna spread out and attack from both angles. This way the defensive players holding the site have to watch two angles instead of one. The other thing with the three two push is while the three players are attacking the one to two players on site, the two players can actually hold the rotations and call out for the team. And lastly, if the push was unsuccessful with the three two setup, you still have good map control and you can move to the opposite site. Number four, faking a site. Typically after a few rounds, you can start running fakes. The goal is early on in the round, you can show a lot of presence on one area on the map, but have your team ready to push the opposite site. Your goal is to drop maybe one to two smokes, drone out and start pushing up a small area on the map. As you're making a lot of noise, this will pull the enemy team rotations and your team can start pushing the opposite site. There is a little bit of a timing that you should know about. As you're making noise on one site, your team shouldn't just start pushing right away. You should wait and see if the enemy team flanks and pick off that rotation or wait until you know for sure that the enemy team has rotated off site before you can start pushing. And also consider the site that you're trying to fake. If the enemy team has a Killjoy, Cypher or Chamber playing on there, make sure you push up enough to set off the trips before you rotate back. And last but not least, number five, the 4-1 Lurk. This is the more common strat that we can see in higher ranks where you usually have four people pushing a site while one person lurks and gets information. And again, the key point here is you're not pushing right away, but you have four people situated getting ready to push one site while one person is lurking and getting information. The goal is that four people are taking up a lot of map room and this gives a chance for the Lurk to catch off rotations or basically push onto a site that the enemy have rotated off of. You wanna have your controllers, initiators, and typically one duelist pushing together and you have one lurk typically a chamber reina or jet and those are basically the five strats you can run on any map with a high rate of success but remember most importantly you want to be unpredictable in the strats you're running so for example if you ran the five man push twice in a row now maybe you switch it up with a 4-1 lurk or faking a five man push if you constantly run the five man push onto the same site the enemy team will expect it and they'll start putting their best players on that side of the map the more unpredictable you are the higher your chances of winning the round and lastly, don't forget, each round is 100 seconds long. There's no reason for you to die within the first 20 seconds and have zero impact. Instead, come up with good strats, make some plays early on to get information, and try to secure the round. I hope you guys learned something from the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video with one of your friends. See you guys in the next video.